Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the last lecture in our series of lecture. Today, lecture is titled Management Option in Dermatology. So, what we will talk about in this lecture is actually the common management options and the common side effects of the drugs that are used. So, going back to the lecture that we had in uh, week 4, the big 3, I think you still remember, which was eczema, acne and psoriasis. So, let us look uh, mainly at the management of these 3 major conditions. So, eczema. So, what can we do for eczema? So, we can actually educate the patient in terms of lifestyle, avoiding the trigger factors, also compliance to medication. Emollients are important, but the most important drug for eczema actually is topical corticosteroids. And also other mode of treatment like uh, phototherapy and so on. So, going deeper into the education component. So, in terms of diet and lifestyle, you can uh, give exclusion diet with the advice of a physician and also a nutritionist. Also, uh, what we would advise is wearing loose-fitting cotton uh, clothes, also keeping your nails short. Uh, try to avoid exacerbation by avoiding the trigger factors, which could be pets as well. And also, in workplace, certain uh, irritants like uh, irritant oils and so on, chemicals. Um, compliance to medication is important to break the scratch each cycle. Uh, Follow-ups will be important to actually uh, taper down your drug uh, according to your disease activity, the, the, whether your disease is active or not. So many types of emollients, lotion, cream, ointment and gel. What is most important in this slide is actually uh, suiting or giving the patient options of which type of emollients they would prefer. For example, ointment are more effective than creams but are very greasy and stuck on your skin and also on your clothes. Uh, lotions and gels are very useful, especially over a larger area, uh, especially uh, gel that is suitable for uh, scalp area. Topical uh, corticosteroids are the main uh, treatment for eczema. So, uh, in terms of potency, the potency of topical corticosteroid range from mild to very potent. The mild potent is usually termed as thermal weight and the, uh, um, sorry, the very potent is usually termed as uh, thermal weight and the mildly potent is actually hydrocortisone 1%. Many side effects of using steroids. So, all physicians should not uh, actually prescribe uh, steroids for duration more than two weeks. If uh, the patient actually needs to actually uh, to possibly continue the steroid, they should see a physician before the prescription is continued. So some of the more uh, common side effects will be like, um, uh, um, events such as atrophy of the skin, induction of acne, also um, super infections. So uh, there is a, actually a very unique way to measure all the topical medications that we use for uh, skin application. So what we use here is a fingertip unit, which actually measures the distance from the tip of your finger to the distal interphalangeal joint of your index finger. So that is equivalent to actually 0 0.5 gram. Um, so for topical corticosteroids, the most important uh, uh, thing to remember is the safe maximum amount to apply on any area of the body depends on the age of the patient, the length of treatment, and the strength that we talk about, mildly potent and also very potent. So this is actually basing um, your fingertip unit to your body surface area and how many you will need. This is actually for those that actually commonly ski see skin diseases, actually you can give a, um, the patient enough creams or lotion for them to apply for that duration of, uh, before you see the, them in the follow-up. Okay, so of course uh, there are other treatment available as we mentioned, um, like trichrolimus uh, ointment, oral antihistamines and also topical antibiotics, only if the eczema is infected. So management of acne, as you can see in this chart, is a bit complicated. The complication rises that the acne actually got three grades, which is the mild, moderate, and severe. Usually in severe, they should be managed by a uh, qualified dermatologist in the hospital. 
uh, because they may need certain drugs that is not available in the primary care. But for other condition, mild and moderate is definitely uh, where, uh, practical to be managed in the primary care. For mild, you got uh, options such as benzoxyl peroxide or retinoids or newer drugs like azelic acid. Uh, for moderate, usually you need to combine the treatment uh, using one of the previous uh, medication that I mentioned plus antibiotics because it's typically infected. Uh, failure of treatment of any of the grade may necessitate um, referral to the qualified dermatologist. Okay, uh, we just go a bit uh, in detail about some of the drugs that is available, which is benzoxyl peroxide, retinoids, uh, antibiotics, all are topical and uh, other drugs. So topical benzoxyl uh, peroxide um, is an organic peroxide agent which functions as an effective bactericidal keratolytic anti-inflammatory agent comes in many strength so you have to suit the strength based on the patient severity the acne severity but it does come with the adverse effect erythema dryness peeling and also itching retinoids a very effective drug usually for retinoids you need to actually apply it at night because if you apply it in morning it can cause a photosensitivity treatment duration should not be very long and is actually contraindicated if the uh, patient is pre uh, pregnant or planning to get pregnant. Topical antibiotics, very effective, usually used for moderate grade of uh, um, acne. The, the, the rationale for using uh, topical antibiotics is that, that um, acne is usually caused by chronic infection by this bacteria, which is P. acnes. Um, so what does antibiotic do? It reduces both the inflammatory and non-inflammatory lesions in acne, but it does come with side effects, mainly allergy and some dry skin. So you got other treatment that we mentioned, topilic, azelic acid, uh, salicylic and sulfur. But this uh, combination are usually prescribed by the dermatologist or those general practitioners that have, uh, have undergone some training in using this kind of uh, drugs. So oral antibiotics is an effective treatment usually used for moderate grade of the acne. Uh, it can also be used uh, for severe grade of the acne that should be managed by the qualified dermatologist. It has strong anti p acne property. Uh, many drugs are available, especially the tetracycline group and also Bactrim group. Um, but uh, even though we need to prescribe it for at least a few months duration, it should be remembered that it should not be prescribed continuously for more than six months. So any follow-up, preferably done monthly or bi-monthly, to actually uh, look at the effect of antibiotics. And some antibiotics are actually contraindicated in pregnancy, such as tetracycline, doxycycline, aminocycline, and of course, Bactrim. Okay. So side effects is uh, a lot. Uh, main side effects of oral antibiotics are actually the gastrointestinal side effects. Some may cause dizziness and headache. Uh, be aware certain drugs such as Bactrim, there is a very high risk of um, Steven Johnson and also um, toxic epidermal necro necrolysis which are actually skin emergencies and patient presenting with that condition should be referred to the hospital urgently. So let's come to uh, the final condition that we will talk about in this lecture which is psoriasis. So many treatment options, as you are all aware, topical, systemic, and phototherapy. Topical treatment, uh, corticosteroids, uh, perhaps uh, one of the more commonly used, is effective, but uh, as we have seen, there are many side effects. Uh, in here, we get uh, two unique uh, topical uh, um, medication that can use, which are Colta and Retranol, and also another uh, synthetic vitamin D, Calciprotriol, which is very effective, but very very expensive systemic treatment may be needed in patients with widespread uh, psoriasis or not, not, those not responding to topical treatment such as oral retinoids oral immunosuppressant and the newer biologics but this only should be prescribed in the tertiary hospital by a qualified dermatologist so phototherapy is a mode of treatment this can be used both for psoriasis and also eczema but this is usually available in the tertiary hospital so before we end, um, do not forget to actually um, 
be holistic in your management of uh, skin problems. We only talk about the three major skin problems, but there are many more. Hopefully, when you join us for our next offering of primary care dermatology too, we can talk more about this condition. So thank you very much. And these are my references.